Spurge here with Revzilla, and in this video, we are going to break down the Climb Badlands Pro A3 jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. So the new Badlands Pro A3 is going to sit between the Badlands Pro and the Rally Pro jacket within Climb's line. Now you should know that if you're looking at the Badlands Pro, you're already sitting at the top of the food chain in the world of adventure gear. This, however, is now going to be the first, or pretty much one of the first, CE AAA rated sets of gear that also gets Gore-Tex protection from waterproofing. So really what we're going to see here, we're going to talk about the changes to the regular Badlands, what stays the same, um, but it's important to note the regular Badlands Pro isn't going away. That's coming in around the $1,000 price point. This jacket comes in around the $1,500 to $1,530 price point, depending on size. And then the pants are around $900 to $920, depending on size. So a tremendous bump up over the, uh, there's just the regular Badlands jacket. And really what you're getting here is maximum protection. So the main changes that we're going to talk about are really to the protective material itself. And like I said, this was already a top tier jacket and it's just going even further for people that want that CE triple rated protection. Now, let's start off by talking about the sizes because most of that's gonna stay the same. Sizes for the jacket range from a small to a 3XL. Sizes for the pants range from a 30 up to a 40. McHugh on my left hand side, stands at six feet tall, weighs in at 220 pounds now and has a 44 inch waist. He wears his jeans in a size 34. He is wearing the large in the, uh, the jacket. He's wearing a size 34 in the pants. So really no surprises there. Um, as long as you're using climb size chart, you should have no issues getting the right size to fit you the right time. Now, like I said, if you're not looking to spend 1500 bucks, you could be looking at the Badlands Pro. Badlands Pro is still pretty much the top contender for the majority of the adventure riders out there. And then you could go up to the Rally Pro if you're looking for the, you know, the ultimate badass adventure setup, but really it's overkill for most riders out there. It's overkill for me. I mean, the Badlands Pro is probably overkill for me. So what I would say is this is going to be somebody that likes the style of Badlands Pro. The rally is pretty aggressive, but they do want that maximum abrasion resistance for a street crash. Uh, this is what you're looking at. Now, let's go ahead and break down what you can expect that's different over the Badlands Pro. And it's the Vectron material is the first main difference. The main body of this, is going to be done in a Vectron material. And they're super secret about their recipe. So they're not gonna give us too much detail, but what they are claiming is that it's three times more abrasion resistant than Aramid, which is a fancy word for Kevlar, which is the stuff that bulletproof vests are made out of. And it's not gonna transfer heat in the same way. So when you're sliding, all of that abrasion builds up heat. It's not gonna let that heat transfer through. This also helps you out if you are riding in hotter weather. Um, and then you're also gonna see that they did incorporate ripstop into this. Uh, so if you do get a snag or a tear, especially if you're riding off road, you catch on a branch, it doesn't allow that tear to continue. Now the material it replaces is Gore's FPL 400 material, which is still the main chassis design on the Badlands Pro. Um, and then the Badlands Pro also has ripstop in key areas. What I like about the veteran material is that you now have ripstop throughout because you might snag down here, you might snag up here, you might hit a branch and it catches on the pocket. So the fact that you now have ripstop throughout is just a nice way to maintain the integrity of the piece if you are truly using this and abusing this on or off road. Now, the other thing you'll note here too is the super fabric. It looks the same, but the material underneath the super fabric has been beefed up. So the jacket itself feels a bit beefier in those impact zones. Now what Climb is claiming is they're claiming the jacket is 17% stronger than the Badlands. I'm not sure how they did that math, but they're also claiming that it's 10% lighter. I can't speak to the 17% stronger, but we did weigh this jacket next to a Badlands Pro and they weighed exactly the same. So I would say that if you're reading this and you're trying to get something lighter than the Badlands, to our measurement on our scale, they weighed exactly the same. But when you're looking at these materials, this does look to be a much more stronger, rugged jacket than the Badlands, which is already a very strong and rugged jacket. So if you're looking at this jacket, it carries through a lot of what we really like about the Badlands. So looking at the collar, you got microfiber at the top. Opening this up, you're gonna see these little hookbacks. These are going to loop into the hooks on the jacket. So if you wanna ride with your jacket open, promoting mass amount of airflow, you have a place to hold those open. 
Humanoid forms in the pops are reflective, that carries through. And then what I really like is that it's a specially designed D3O aero armor, designed for climb, with climb in mind, C level two throughout. So you have C level two at the elbows, the shoulders, the back, the hips, the knees, you have foam at the chest, um, but really what you're seeing here is all the armor already upgraded for you. There's gonna be no need to have to pay for more armor, which is great considering that this jacket is already at that $1,500 price point. As we work our way down, 12 vents in total. And you can see just as I open some of these up, you do get a mass amount of airflow. Those are direct vents that bypass the Gore-Tex and you get full direct venting. So if you're riding in the warmer months of the year, and I'm sure Pat's hot on the studio lights, so I'll just leave some of these vents open for him. Pat, give me your arm over, other arm, other arm. I'm sorry, I lied, I tricked you. So one of the things you do have is a document pocket over here cash, credit cards, if you're traveling, you know, and you want to keep a medical card on you, that's a little pocket and you get a little insignia there letting people know it is a medical card. If I know climb, and I'm pretty sure I do, you also have a hidden pocket in the back that if you are traveling over sketchy borders, you can hide some of your cash in case, you know, they try to take your wallet. Pat, straight the riding position for me. Just give a quick look down throughout. Still have the pocket over on the right sleeve for extra storage. You can see all that super fabric. You do have the climb logo in the super fabric. But again, this is where it gets a little bit beefier on the elbows there. You are gonna have a vent at the back of the arm to allow that airflow from the front of the arm to, to escape out. You're gonna have gussets at the side, which just helps with your range of motion. You can see exhaust fence working down the side. You're gonna have a little rabbit pouch on the back here. So if you want extra storage, that's gonna be back there for you. And then you do have an internal rip cord to cinch down at the bottom. McHugh, backwards for me. Again, humanoid form in those pops are reflective. I don't know why I pointed there. There was no reflective there. I should have stopped there and there. And then you are gonna have a shock cord at the top. You can see it's held through with that little, you know, tang holder right there. But this allows you to cinch up that collar if you're riding in a downpour. There is a pocket in the back to hold a hydration pack. And you do have that CE level two back protector included. Working your way down, again, that, that, that rabbit pouch you can access through both pockets on either side. And then exhaust fence at the back of the pants, stretch at the back of the knee for added comfort, cinch at the top of your boot, and then you can see snap adjusters all the way down at the very bottom of the boot to fine tune how you want this to fit. This is an over the boot pant. McHugh, forward for me. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the inside to let people get a gander at this. Kidney belt is still included. Again, foam pads, not any chest armor up the top, just pads are included with this. And you're gonna see just a nice comfortable material on the inside if you're wearing this with just a base layer or a t-shirt the way Mr. McHugh is. Simple designs on the inside. And then just looking down the front of the pants, you're gonna see pockets on the side, slash pockets, as well as vents. And then super fabric at the knee, CE level armor, again, at the hips, the knees, and stretch material on top of the knees. So again, one of the more complex jackets that is on the market for ADV riders has become more complex. And I say complex in the fact that the materials that we're using and that we're seeing, I'm sorry, the materials that we're seeing climb using these just keep getting more and more sophisticated. This is gonna be your Gore-Tex Pro 3 shell. This is your top line Gore-Tex to make sure you're dry and you're cool in the warmer months of the year. But really there is nothing above this in Climb's line outside of the Rally Pro. And the Rally Pro again is a beast onto itself. So now what you're getting is CE AAA rated protection out of the Badlands, which is still the perennial favorite for so many adventure riders out there. If you want more information on this particular jacket, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can browse through the product page. You can read all the details in depth and you can also watch or read other rider reviews. Folks that are already out there putting the Badlands, the Badlands Pro A3 uh, through its paces and you can see what they have to say. If you're still confused as to which piece of gear is right for you, you can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455. You shoot us an email to cs at revzilla.com and you can find the right jacket and pants combo for your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us today for this look at the Climb Badlands Pro A3 jacket and pants. I'm Spurge, this is Mr. McHugh. Enjoy the ride.